Uh, Anthony, with this bullpen game today, what has it been just about the group as a whole that's allowed you all just to be so excellent, not only in this series, but just in this postseason? Um, I think it has a lot to do with uh, understanding our our job, understanding that um, regardless of what happens, we're going to pick each other up. Um, there's a lot of confidence down there. Um, and the biggest key factor would just being trusting our stuff and trusting um, what the pitching coaches and analytics have shown us and given us the, uh, the, the plan of attack and just go and execute that. Stay on the left side, Chelsea in the fourth row. Hey, Anthony. Um, Hi. It seems like the Dodgers are year after year able to bring in guys to the bullpen that maybe weren't at their best elsewhere and then kind of find their best here and then find it when it matters most. How do they do that? What do they do that, that gets so much out of guys and, and makes them better? Uh, I think that's what's so special about the Dodgers and uh, they see, you know, what others see and they exploit that, uh, the strength in individuals. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the understanding and the communication of, from coach to player, player to coach. Um, their biggest message when I first got here, it was just be yourself. And I think that translates into um, the communication part of it, where they could understand us as players better. That way they could uh, turn around and voice whatever it is that they need to exploit as far as uh, with pitches or movement types or anything else like that. Um, I, think that's the, I think that's what they do very well here, um, you know, given the fact that um, all the analytic stuff and everything else like that to back that up. but. I think that's the biggest reason. Go to Jack on, in the front on the right. In, in what ways have you changed as a pitcher this year within that environment? Um, I think I matured as a pitcher mostly in the idea of understanding my strengths um, and understanding that, you know, uh, just confidence, really. Um, and then the, uh, the plan of attack, really, and uh, showing me different things that I could do in different counts. Um, I think that's, that goes a long way. And then obviously introducing the slider as well. Um, but uh, it was, I think that's, it's all in the one, I think, really. Um, but I think the maturity and then obviously understanding the plan of attack and uh, pitch usage is what really I've grown as a, as a pitcher, as an individual, really. We'll go back to Kirsten. I know with on the hitting side, there's a lot of talk of just momentum, and it kind of feels like when one guy goes, another one, things can pick up pretty quickly. Do you feel that, though, on the pitching side, especially just how we've seen, whether it's starters at the tone or even bullpen guys at the tone, and with Michael Kopech today, how do you feel like just what he does can – really just kind of add to the rest of the guys in the bullpen. Is there such thing as momentum when it comes to the pitching side, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I believe in momentum 100%. Uh, you can feel it shift. You can feel it uh, when the offense is clicking um, and we have a big inning. Um, our job as a pitcher, you know, after those big innings is go and have a shutdown inning to kill the momentum on their side. Um, but as pitchers, you know, when we see, you know, our guys that we've been with for the entire season go out and just do their job and and uh, put up a zero, it's it's almost like a relay race. So you just hand that baton back on to the next guy and, you know, you basically root for them and understand that they're going to do their job and do their best to put up another zero and it's just so forth and so forth. So I think it has a lot to do with that. And um, I think that's just a big momentum thing, uh, understanding that a hey, he can do it, I can do it type of deal. Um, and that's kind of what we've always been together as far as like back in the bullpen. And that's what we do as far as like the plan of attack throughout the game. Stay on the left side, third row. Hey, um, you mentioned the slider is a relatively new addition for you this season. Um, was there something that the Dodgers helped you figure out in terms of being able to get all of that extra horizontal movement on that slider? I know you're probably a pretty traditional pronator, but getting that extra horizontal movement without sacrificing too much velocity, was that something they worked on you with? Um, yeah, the, the idea with it was very simple. Um, 
understand. Well, the biggest thing that they kind of communicated with me, with me and understood with me was I had a misunderstanding of how to throw the breaking ball. I always thought that you had to get the fingers to the front of the ball and all this other good stuff. Um, but when they had told me that, you know, this is going to fit you um, and it, you know, just throw it like a fastball, uh, let it work off your pronation. Um, that was a key thing for me. It was, what do you mean as pronation? Um, and then when I saw it at Egatronics, the slow motion camera, um, that's what really, really opened my eyes in the sense of like, okay, like we spin the ball through the pronation part of it, not through getting the fingers to the front of the baseball type of deal. Um, I think that's what really made, made it click for me and understand that, okay, like, I could do this, and then when we tried it, it kind of just really worked. So um, it wasn't no special anything. It was just the communication part and understanding the the idea of it. Any last ones for Anthony? All right, thanks for coming in. Appreciate the time. Thank you, guys. What's your high school?